Hey everybody, I am coming to you on Thursday evening. I decided to wait and pop on here tonight, I'm trying to hit a variety of times during the day so that people that you know might be working in the morning or the afternoon can perhaps catch me live. I know you guys can always catch it whenever you're available to watch on a replay on Facebook. So yesterday we were talking about feeding on the faithfulness of God and Right away after I finished chatting with you, I knew what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about the love of God. And I think the verse that I just kept hearing in my mind ever since yesterday was from Lamentations and it says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. That's the ESV, the English Standard Version. I love the way that it says that it's from Lamentations uh, chapter three, verse 22. It says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. And it goes in line so well with what we were talking about yesterday, feeding on God's faithfulness. That, you know, how often do we really put ourselves in this place where we're expecting the love of God to surround us? That we're aware of the fact that He just loves us so much that He would want to pour out His love upon us, want to show us His love. You know, how often am I coming to the Lord, wanting to engage him that way. Um, if you read that, I'm also going to read it to you out of the NASB. And if you read it out of there, it says, it's starting in chapter 3 of Lamentations, verse 21, This I recall to my mind, and therefore I have hope. The Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases. His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the person who seeks him. So it's talking in there about, you know, the foundation that we know that we can stand on, that God's love never ends. His love never ceases. His love is not based on our performance or our perception. It's not about us at all. It's simply about who he is and what his desire has always been, and that's to love us. You know, I think for me, some of the greatest ways that I have learned to understand the love of the Lord is through being a parent. You know, and I think about the way that I love my kids and the way that I want them to know how much I love them. I mean, if I if they said to me, well, I only know that you love me because you give me gifts or things, you know, what would that be? Their perception of my love for them would be completely wrong. But to me, I love it when my kids want to spend time with me. You know, and when one of my older teenagers comes down later in the evening when my other kids have gone to bed and we're just kind of hanging out on the couch, whether we're talking about school or, you know, whatever, just to spend that time together. Or, you know, when one of them says like, hey mom, can we do something? Or, you know, I, I pursue them, I pursue relationship with them, but it's such an amazing blessing to me when they want to pursue relationship with me. And I think it's much the same way with God. He is constantly pursuing us. He is pursuing us all the time, whether we are aware of it or not. But how amazing is it when we turn around then and pursue Him? When we say, God, I just want to spend some time with you. I just want to tell you about my day. I want to hear your heart for what you have for me, for the people that you're going to place in my world. God, I want to hear your heart of how you love me. Because if my kids came to me and said, hey mom, I know you love me like just tell me something about that you know I would immediately begin to tell them all the specific things I love about them you know the way that God has created their heart and the way that they reach out to people um, you know for each child things that would just jump out to me that I would want to affirm in them of how much I love them and the beauty of who they are and I think it's the same thing for the Lord but I think we just don't think about that we're not thinking, oh, God wants to tell me something that he loves about me today, but we should be. And so my encouragement for you tonight is as you wrap up your day and you're coming home to this, you know, place of settling in or not, you know, depending on what your schedule might be and kids and work and all those things, take some time to just uh, soak in these verses, to soak in the fact that the Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases to expect that he loves you and that he wants to tell you something about his great love for you tonight. That you would just take those moments to say, God, I want to spend some time with you. I want to hear your heart. 
I want to hear why you love me. I want to hear what you love about me. I want to know that, that we can celebrate the goodness that God says we are. And you know what that does? That then fills us so that we can go out and pour his love onto the people that we meet, the people that we come in contact with every day, because we cannot pour out something we haven't received. So if we want to give the love of God, we've got to receive the love of God. So my encouragement today for you is to just spend some time receiving that love, to receive the love that God longs to give you, to stand on the promise of knowing that his loving kindness never ceases. Loving kindness, it's like standing on you know, the beach, looking at the ocean. You cannot see the place that it starts and you cannot see the place that it stops. And that's what I think God's loving kindness is. There's no beginning and there's no end. It just is. It's not about us. It's not about anything we can do. It's just simply about receiving his love. So as you wrap up your day today, take some time to just immerse yourself in the love that God has for you. Let him encourage your heart. Build that relationship with him. Start to know him more so that then you too may go out and give the love of God to the people that you meet because he's placing people in your path all the time who need you, who need him through you. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.